Alright guys, so the other day I found out this old VHS movie Armageddon. It's a sci-fi movie from 1998 that I used to like when I was a kid. So I decided to watch the whole movie again and I came across this amazing space shuttle launch scene and I thought, wow, it would be great if I could actually reproduce this shot with my computer. So that's what I'm going to show you in this tutorial. For those who don't know me, my name is Alex and my objective is to show you how to create famous shots from movies using only your computer. So you will find free tutorials here and if you want to save time or support the channel and my work, you can get all the project files on HollywoodIllusion.com. So today we are going to create this space launch shot using 3D Studio Max and Phoenix FD. Phoenix FD is a plugin for 3D Studio Max that allows you to generate fluid dynamics such as fire, smoke, liquids and ocean waves. I already posted a tutorial on how to create a space rocket launch shot entirely on After Effects using TrapCode Particular. However, here we can't use TrapCode to do this simply because the smoke interacts with our 3D environment. It first goes on the sides as it collides with the ground then goes upwards. Also, there is this whole illumination coming from the reactors, which would be hard to achieve in After Effects. So I've got my 3D scene here that I've created with 3D Studio Max. We need to create fire coming out from the boosters and a lot of smoke going to the sides. To do this, I'm going to create three emitters. One for each booster and one that will create this huge smoke. So for the boosters, I'm going to create a cylinder, place it at the right position, and link it to the dummy that controls the space shuttle animation. Now I will just duplicate the cylinder and place it to the other's booster's location. All right, now it's time to emit particles from these cylinders. To do this, I will create a particle system. If I move the timeline, it is emitting particles from the icon we've just created. But we need to emit particles from the cylinders, so we are going to open particle flow, replace this position icon with a position object operator, and select our two cylinders. That's better. Now we're just going to remove these rotation and shape operators as we don't need them and tweak our parameters to adjust the birth rate. We want a lot of particles coming out from the boosters, the speed because we want the particles to be fast and the life of our particles. So to do this, we just need to add a delete operator and adjust the parameters to make them disappear after a few frames. Now we are just going to set up the particles for the smoke. I will create a particle system again, but put it below the boosters. Set the particles to be emitted along the icon. And then perform the exact same operations as before for the birth rate, the speed and the life of our particles. Okay, now it's time to set up Phoenix FD. We need to tell Phoenix FD that we want fire and smoke coming out from these particles here, and smoke coming out from the other particle system we have just created. To do this, I will create two Phoenix FD sources, a first one for the fire of the boosters, so I select the first particle system here, and boost the temperature to about 3000. Here it is also important to set the mode to volume brush, which will really mimic the behavior of a rocket's fire. And then we need a second Phoenix FD source for the smoke. So I select the second particle system here 
and I disable the temperature. Alright, now last step, the simulation. Phoenix FD needs to know where the simulation will take place. So I will create a grid and adjust the bounds of the grid so it can expand until it reaches a maximum size. Another important step here is to set the conservation method to PCG symmetric, which I recommend for large scale simulations like this, and boost the quality to about 30. This will create this fabulous shape as the smoke moves away from the emitter. Finally, to get this cool cloudy look, the secret is to set the opacity of the smoke to a very very low value like 0.02. This will also allow the light coming out from the fire to pass through the smoke and give this cool look. Ok, so the scene is now ready. We just need to hit simulate and voila! That's how you create a space launch shot. You can get all the project files on hollywoodillusion.com. You will also get a full After Effects compositing file to go from this raw 3D render to this final shot and make your sequence look great. Hope you liked this tutorial guys and I see you soon for another exciting project!